for another edition of Skincare Sunday. Yeah, Marlene, where have you been? I don't know. I was on strike, actually. Yes, I was. Why? Because I felt like you guys weren't sure my Skincare Sunday videos. Mm-hmm, that's exactly how I felt, honey. I thought, oh, they want to do me dirty, huh? Let me be dirtier. So that's why I stopped making videos. It was like a month, yes. I was on strike for a whole month. But I missed it, so I figured I'll come back. Today's video is going to be a quick and easy one. I wanted to show you guys how to pop a pimple and not just any pimple. I'm talking about a pimple or a zit that's ready to be popped. And what does it mean for a pimple or a zit to be popped? It's like when you actually see like the pus is like right there. Like you just know it's ready. Don't pop it when all you see is your skin. Like if you like say you have an inflammation where it is still your skin but there's a bump. Let it be. Let the thing do what it does. I would definitely recommend that you actually do steam your face so you can actually help your pore open up so that pus can actually find its way out. Because sometimes if it's really stuck under the skin, it can be quite painful, okay? Or sometimes you may have a zit and the zit has like a little bit of a white head and you just want to remove that. That's what I mean by it when it's ready. It's ready to be popped, okay? First, let's start off with my face wash. What I'm using is the SkinCeutical, the LHA cleansing gel okay i really like this one i've been using it for about i guess two months you get a whole lot in here and sometimes when i actually run out of my body wash i will use it like if you're breaking out on your back you can also use this all over your body as well and a little bit goes a long way which i learned the hard way okay otherwise it's just foams foam foams and foams so yeah so this is what I'm using. I will talk about this product later on, but not today. But this is a really good one to have. As you can see, my skin is beautiful. Alright, so you're going to use that, okay? Now, once you're done washing your face, I do wash my face with the Clarisonic. You already know what that looks like, so that's what I have. I have the, not the Mia, I have the big one, the regular one. That's the one I use on my face, okay? So, once you're done washing your face, what you're going to do next, you want to exfoliate your skin, alright? So, what I use daily is my Raw Grows by Chorus, okay? It is a daily brightening and refinishing buff cleanser, alright? So, this is what I use. It's very pretty. I will show you guys what it looks like up close so you can see. Apply that all over your face. I also use it with the help of the Clarisonic to make sure, like, I get an extra buff. I like to exfoliate my skin to no ends. I do because I have dark spots and I want them to get off of my face. So I sure do, okay? And then after that, you rinse your face off. So now once you're done, and before, what I would say also, the reason why you want to exfoliate your skin before attempting to break a pimple or also if you want to get the pus to actually make its way near the top surface of your skin, okay? Like scrubbing helps a whole lot. Exfoliating helps a whole whole lot all right so then after that i'm going to take 100 percent certified organic raw honey now this is not the regular honey that you see at the store walmart on the shelves no this is organic raw honey okay so please 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 not all honeys are created equal i also get the i got the same question with the one i did with the sea salt People asking me if they can use the regular cooking salt. No. Okay. The sea salt, the dead sea salt that people use for the um, skin exfoliation comes from the dead sea. It is not the cooking sea salt from the sea sea. Okay. The dead sea has different properties than the regular sea. All right. So don't be that cheap. You can get this at GNC or maybe Trader Joe's has it or maybe Whole Foods has it. But it has to be 100%. Okay. Certified organic raw honey. And it looks like a paste like this. This is what it looks like. This is what you want, okay? Please. Don't be that cheap, but it's not that serious, okay? Because the thing is, you may have some type of skin issues, though, but if you want to cut corners and be super cheap and get the wrong products and apply it on your face, you may actually create a bigger problem for yourself, okay? So get the 100% what? Raw honey. Good, 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 good. You're paying attention. So here is, so here we have the honey. Now with the honey, I did place this in the microwave. You can put it in there for about 10 to 15 seconds. I would say it's better for you to do shorter intervals because the honey can get really hot. We're talking like when oil gets really hot, so you want to be very careful with this, please. Because you got to remember this, just because this is skin and this right here is skin and the skin on your leg is skin, you know, all skin is not created equal. The skin on your face is very, very sensitive, okay? So check the temperature of this. 
it has to be a nice ambient temperature but you don't need it to be super hot that's not it, that's not the point of this okay so get this to be um nice and melted all right and then at a nice temperature and then what we're going to do we're going to apply this all over the skin all right okay and maybe while i'm doing this i'll tell you guys about the benefit of raw honey okay so you have this you can start yeah and it's gonna feel like a wax on your skin okay so I don't know how well you can see it I already and also I have my steamer on already so make sure my hair is out the way alright apply this all over your skin please and you can be very generous with it alright And I'm doing it in section because it, it's going to feel like wax, so you can do it in sections. Right. And raw honey is really good. It's good for if you have eczema, if you have acne scars, rosacea is good for that also. Okay, and it's the thing about it also, the thing about raw honey, why I really love working with raw honey for my facials, is that it has a pH of 4.5, which is the which is the normal pH for the skin. Sorry, it's going to be like, it's going to drip a little bit, it's kind of gross, but whatever. Alright, so that's a, the 4.5 pH is the pH of the skin. So it's nice to work on something that is pH friendly for your skin and then the other good part also is that raw honey helps with hyperpigmentation all right because it contains a glycolic um glycolic acid which is a mild alpha hydroxide okay acid so what that does is that it's going to actually brighten up your complexion help you with um help you with hyperpigmentation and also bring, bring some light back into your skin so if your skin has been dull like you just feel like your skin is lackluster raw honey baby yes honey and when you take it off when you actually rub it off your like when you steam your face with it and it comes off your skin your skin is going to be so soft it has an amazing amazing moisturizing quality like it's just it's amazing yeah girl that's how you know god is a good god honey because like, you know, think about like a hundred years ago. People didn't have money to go to a red door spot. You know? It's like God put all these beautiful things out there in nature for us to enjoy. So And this, like I said earlier, you can get this from GNC. Okay. Alright. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually look in the mirror and fix this and I'll be right back, okay? Alright, so, and then the thing is, like, because it's going to feel like wax on your face, so if you put it, put it, when you apply it, apply it in one direction, okay, so if you apply it like this, apply it like this, don't apply it the other way, it's going to feel like wax, like you're trying to wax yourself, okay, and, like I would say, use a generous amount of this, yes, it kind of looks nasty, like, uh, oh, you know, but whatever, then you want to get close to the steamer, and also try to bring it down your neck, with the steam, the steam is going to melt it. That's why I was telling you, you don't want it to be super hot. We have the steam for that, okay? And then if you have a little bit of it left in the, um, in this jar, what you can also do, you can also mix it with a lip scrub. So I have this one lip scrub here by Fresh, which is the sugar lip polish. So I'm going to mix a little bit of that with the honey and also apply it onto my lips. Next, what you want to do, take the lip scrub and if you have some leftover honey here, you want to mix it together and apply it onto your lips as well. So that's what I'm going to do. Because honey is good for the lips as well. You want to have sweet lips. Okay, and then we'll mix that. Apply it on the lips as well. I don't know if you can see, sorry. When you're going to apply the honey to your face, as you can see, it's going to melt and it's going to drip down. Don't be afraid of it. If it does drip down like it's doing right now, just bring it down onto your neck. Because it's really hard, sorry, it's really hard to move it 
when it's hard but when it once it melts it's easier for you to like maneuver it over your skin otherwise it can kind of hurt so you always want to wait for the steamer to kind of melt it a little bit more and then once the steamer has melted the honey then you go ahead and you can bring it down okay because ideally ideally you would want to have the honey on your face on your neck and on your decollete which would be like your bust part right here okay because sometimes also what happens is some ladies you have a darker bust than the rest of your face so go ahead and put that there because it does it's on this all of this honey is going to help brighten your skin all right but you see now it's so much easier before it felt like wax and now that it's melting with the with the steamer it's easier for me to maneuver it put some steam here on my face my forehead all right and I would try my best to make a blog post explaining to you guys more in depth what the benefits are of raw honey but if you are acne prone you want to do this if you have eczema you want to do this if you have rosacea you want to do this hyperpigmentation you want to do this dark scar dark scars acne scars dark circles you want to revive your skin if you're in college this fits your budget now where are you going to get the steam from <laughs> that's a question that's another question but that's a great question actually but i definitely recommend this one all right so then what i'm going to do i'm just going to let this steam my face okay i'm going to steam my face for a good amount of time and once i'm back i will be back to use the extractor to remove some of the whiteheads from my face especially my t-zone all right and then we'll take it from there okay so once you let the honey completely sort of melt off your face well you can it's actually dripping okay it feels like a liquid like this and it's been like 10 to 15 minutes then you can go ahead and wash it off your i mean rinse it off your face if don't wash it off rinse it off your face okay if you want to so that's what i'm going to do all right and then what you want just take a hot towel and just remove it off from your face okay And if your steamer is running, let it run. No, don't stop the steamer. You don't need to stop your steamer. Let the steamer run. And while the steamer is working, okay, what we want to do now, we're going to take out our extractor. This beautiful thing like this. I'll do a close-up of it, hopefully. And we're going to take the part that has the hole, and we're going to use that to extract the white heads from the T-zone. Okay? Then you also want to get a magnifying mirror. Okay? I have this one, which I bought from Walmart. Okay? So... And this is exactly why I recommend getting this steamer with the free hand so that way it's here to steaming and you can actually work with your hands. Okay, you don't have to have your face confined to a some type of, I don't know, mold or something. Okay, so you do this. I have a video where I show you guys how to properly remove your white heads. So if you want to have a look with um, watch the video I will have a link to that video now I will say this when it comes to removing your white heads you want to make sure that wash your face you scrub your face and you want to make sure that you steam your face okay because you want your pores to open up if you do this on rough skin that is skin that is where the pores are not open on dry skin rough skin you run chances of scarring yourself all right so be very very gentle with this it's better to do it and that it's recommended and you have to do it okay on skin that's wet where your pores are open either with a steamer heat from um, steam from the steamer or heat from the shower but you have to open your pores before you go and use this extractor on your skin I'm being very serious okay all right got it good so let's go with this so then you take your extractor with the whole part and then you're just going to press on your skin and that's going to release the the white heads maybe I can come close I don't know the thing is I don't want to actually have to move but you keep doing this like that and you'll see the white heads come all right this video is not about white heads so I'm just showing you how to use it and you can also put this in front of the steamer to get the stuff to come out and sterilize it if you want that's what I do put the steam on it 
okay? And then once you're done with the extractor, now we're going to go to the part where you actually want to pop your pimple. So I'm sorry this is taking a long time to get here, but I have to show you guys how to do it the right way. So what you want to do, you want to take this um, Bragg Organic Raw Unfiltered Apple Cider Vinegar, which is this one right here, okay? And then you also want to take some Organic Extra Virgin Oil right here, all right? And we're going to mix the two. You just want to make sure that you have a little bit more vinegar than you actually have oil, okay? Just a little bit more. I mean, the way, the way I can tell that I have a little bit more oil than vinegar is by the smell of it. That makes any sense. I don't know. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to start off by pouring the vinegar first into this. I like to use the glass. Thanks, so you can actually see it, but you don't have to. Okay, so pour, you don't need a lot, just a little bit. Like this right here is enough, okay? See that? Once you pour your vinegar, then you want to go ahead and add your extra virgin, organic extra virgin olive oil in there, okay? So please make sure it's organic and extra virgin, okay? And pour some, and like I said earlier, you want to make sure that you have a little bit more vinegar than you actually have oil in here, okay? So go ahead and mix the two, like that. Do your best to mix the two, huh? So then we're actually going to use the spear, which is the back end of the extractor. So one end as the hole. That's the part we use to remove the whiteheads. And then we're going to use the spear part to actually pop the pimple or pop the zit, okay? But once again, make sure that it's ready to be popped. Don't pop something that's still under the surface of your skin, okay? Good. All right. Let's say you wanted to pop this pimple right here, right? So what you would do... Is you can either depending on the side because sometimes you may have to actually poke so it can actually release the pus so you would take the spear okay and then pop it don't pop it like don't go like this directly you want to do it from the side okay you would go pop like this for something that's small you can just go ahead and use the round part like this one with the circle and kind of trap this in there okay and this press on it and that's how you'll get rid of it if it's this small but if it was something bigger which I don't have any anymore you would actually want to pierce it from the side all right you press it from the side the pus is going to come out once the pus comes out you want to make sure that it's empty so that you'll use the circular part like this one with the hole and then you'll trap the pimple in the hole and then you will just firmly press on it so you can release all of the pus now don't do it until you bleed like once you're bleeding it means you went too far and so see right here if you if this was a pimple that you had popped the way i'm showing you this then you're going to use the solution which is the um, apple cider vinegar with the olive oil all right and then you'll just use some of it make sure you mix it first before applying okay and then you will just dab that on there I don't know why it works, but it just works and it doesn't leave a scar. Make sure you fully mix it so that you get an even amount of oil and vinegar. Alright? Alright. And you can just use it like this. Alright? And if you also wanted, you could also use it as a toner. Let me just do it. And then you go like this. Now, the smell of vinegar is strong, but it is what it is. Alright? And you, it's going to burn just a bit. Okay? Alright, now another thing I wanted to tell you guys also. Say you have acne or some bumps all over your face, or you find yourself having to repeat this procedure, like, a lot on your face, you can also use this as a toner, I guess, but we're actually going to wash it off. So you use another compad, and you can put it all over, I guess, let's put, put it in there. But make sure you mix this really well before you stick in the con pad in there, okay? Alright, put the con pad in there and then you squeeze the stuff out. Well, squeeze out the excess concoction, I guess, okay? And then once you have that, you can apply it all over your skin. Now. The smell of the um, vinegar can throw you off a little bit. I'm sorry, but this is what it is. Okay. Alright. 
And that's why you have the olive oil in there also, right? Okay. And this, it takes, I mean, it's quick. If you do it for yourself, it's quicker than what I'm doing now. I just have to explain it, but it's worth you sitting here and paying attention because it's your skin and it's your face. If you mess it up, uh-uh. No bueno. Okay. Just let it sit there for like two minutes. It's, it stings, huh? So it's also good. It's like an antiseptic solution. Okay, so you can also steam your face for two minutes. Alright. So once you're done steaming your face with the vinegar oil concoction, then you want to rinse this off of your face with a warm towel. Okay? Then you take your warm towel and you can just use that to remove all the products from your face. I mean, the concoction from your face, the mixture from your face. Okay? Now what I'm going to do, like, one of the two things you could use after this, and that's what I recommend that you do, because this is what I did and that's how I didn't get no scars. So, you can either use after this, you don't want to leave it like that, you want to use a mask after that. So, what you want to do, you can either use this one, the green one by Boschia, which is the green tea oil control mask, okay? Which is actually going to regulate, like, the sebum production, which is good also, especially if you're oily the combination skin. Or you can use the white, the bright white mask also for brightness. So depending on what you need, you can, because I do a facial twice a week. So you can use this one today and then use the, the other one next time you do your facial. If you do do your facial twice a week. I recommend doing your facial twice a week, if, especially if you wear makeup every day. Twice a week, be good. Okay? Be good. So I'm going to go with the green tea, the sebum oil control mask okay so I'm gonna apply over my face because it's a big mistake to just pop your pimple and it's just go about your day you want to properly finish your facial and then we're gonna use the toner and everything else I'm gonna be showing you after this okay don't just pop your pimples randomly if you want to pop your pimples wait until the day you do your facial so that way you have time to do everything the right way okay and then once you're done with this we're going to let it dry and then we'll peel it and then we'll just continue with the process okay so I will be back so once you've done this now that it's dry you actually want to just peel this off okay and that's why when you apply this you want to make sure that you apply a generous amount of it so it can make the peeling easier if you don't apply enough you're going to have to use a warm towel to remove it and that kind of takes away from one of the benefits of peeling right because when you peel you are removing A lot of impurities from your face. Now this is stuck onto my hair, so I have to be careful. So I'm going to take a warm towel and remove the rest of it now. Okay, but this one you should definitely feel a difference. Like your face is going to feel a little bit tighter, and that's a good sign. All right, so let's just take this off, and I'll be back. Then to remove the rest of the mask, just take your towel and just remove all the excess from your face, okay? So once you're done with that, if you want, you can go ahead and turn back your steamer on, okay? So we can steam your face some more, there's no problem with that. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my toner. And for my toner, I'm using the Fito Blanc Lightning Toning Lotion with Botanical Extract, which is this one, okay? It's really good. I love it. Apply it on a cotton pad and just apply it all over your face. Okay? And if you did a good job of cleaning your skin, it should be white. It should be no dirt. But throughout the week, it's going to get a little darker or dirtier, however you want to describe that. But take it all the way down your neck as well. The next I'm going to be using my Kodali, the Eau de Beauté, the Beauty Elixir. This one, I love this one. I would recommend that you get this one. It just brightens up your skin. It just, oof, just tickles your skin a little bit for the day. I like it. I love it. I love it, actually. I love it. Okay, so you go like this. A few pumps. Then before applying any facial creams or any other facial product, you want to go ahead and apply your eye serum. 
I recommend that you get eye serum, okay? Even like in your 20s, you should definitely get eye serum, especially if you work late, if you stay late. You know, you just can't apply the same facial cream on your eye area. It can give you like these um these small bumps. They're like it's like your skin kind of. It's just weird. These like little small bumps right here. So to avoid that, get your eye cream. And then also, like I said, all skin is not created equal. The skin right here is not the same as the skin in the eye area. This is very, very sensitive if you if you've noticed. If you've ever got sunburn, you know it's like this right here is sensitive. Especially if you bleach your skin, because some people do bleach their skin, and it's the reality of life. If you bleach your skin, you really want to make sure that you have an eye cream. Don't take your bleaching cream and apply it here. That's why some people who bleach their skin have the um, darker circles. Like if you place Idraconon right here, it's gonna get darker, bro. If you place Idraconon right here and you get exposed to the sun, it is gonna get really dark. If you place Idraconon right here, you go to Africa, put some big glasses on, hit the sun, you are gonna get dark circles like this. All right, that's why people get caught with bleaching creams. You get caught right here, then you get caught right here. So always use your eye cream okay and apply that so my eye cream would go like this gently apply that right here okay and if you're using a bleaching cream using eye cream is not going to mess up your whole bleaching effect okay good <laughs> but you actually putting bleaching cream here is going to rat on you and people, that's how people are going to know that you're bleaching your skin so just apply your eye cream I didn't think I needed eye cream until I started using eye cream and I knew it's a big difference. I was like, ooh, boo -boo, where have you been? Where did you go? My lovely, do you do do do? I wanna know. Where did you go? Oh. I went to the mall to buy some eye cream, honey. And then the next thing I'm gonna recommend that you use um, this one. You don't have to use this one if you don't want to. I personally use it and I like it. But I would say it's a little strong, so don't use it very often. But I will make another video about this one. It is the it is Clinical Active Serum, okay? So just use a little bit of it. A little bit goes a long way. I've had this for, I've had this since August, and I still have a little, whole lot. So just take a little bit. And it comes with a dropper, which is actually easier. Well, it makes it easier for you to regulate how much of this you actually want to use, okay? So just take a little bit. Make sure your hands are clean. All right, and this, what I like to do with like these expensive products is I just like to dot them first and that's how you make sure that you apply what you need and that you have enough for your entire face and your neck and your bust, okay? Yeah. Good, perfect. You just go like this. All right. And then for my facial cream, I'm just going to use this one by Codelli and just apply it all over my face. Same thing, put some in your hand and then you just go dot, 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 dot. Checkers, honey. All right. All right, so that's it. You don't have to do anything special to the acne spots. Trust me, when you'll come back tomorrow, it'll be like flat, gone, and no scar. All right, so mm, it looks a bit dry. I'm so sorry. This is the reality of doing skincare Sunday. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you rate the video, comment, subscribe, like the video, and please share. Share the video on Google Plus. It actually works, this little thing, huh? Okay, and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Okay, so yeah, share. If you share, I'll make more skincare videos, I promise. All right, so let you take care of yourselves, and I hope this helps. If you do try it and it does work, please come back and leave a comment. All right, and if you are a blogger, please blog about my skincare Sunday as well. It doesn't hurt, and let me know. Tweet me, and I will retweet it, and I will also share it on my so I will see you later, and I'll see you soon for my next Skincare Sunday video, hopefully next week. Until then, please take care of yourselves, and definitely take care of your skin, and don't forget to promote Skincare Sunday. All right, so that's it. All right, bye, ladies. See you guys later. Bye. All right, ladies, so quickly, this is a giveaway prize. It's the Chorus. It's the Pomegranate Facial Scrub. So I'm giving this one away. Very easy. You have to be a subscriber. Follow me either on Instagram or like my Facebook page. And if you want it, you go right ahead and you just email me at marlene at marlenamon.com and just write in the title, Skincare Sunday Giveaway. All right. And I'll probably mail this off by maybe the end of the week. All right. Thank you, ladies. And bye.